Morning Chelsea fans, Chelsea staff here, back with your five minute Chelsea news this morning. Three big stories that have come out overnight, featuring Thomas Tuchel, featuring Deo Upamecano and Emma Hayes. Let's get cracking. So first up, Thomas Tuchel and the details regarding his contract and a possible extension has been revealed overnight. It's quite interesting. We all know he signed an 18 month contract, but he's got some incentives to reach. And if he reaches those incentive, one major incentive, he'll be pretty much guaranteed a contract extension. The stipulation is if he qualifies for the Champions League this season as Chelsea manager, he will be given an extension to the 18 months he's originally signed. He's been talking, obviously, about the situation. It was only a short term 18 month contract and there was reports that he was reluctant to sign the deal first, but then he had a change of heart and he said, at first it was a concern. I was a little like, oh, it's 18 months. But after only one minute, I thought, what does it change? What does it change if they give me four and a half years? They could sack me anyway. If they're not happy with me, they will sack me anyway. And if they gave me four and a half years, they will put a clause in that when they sack me, they'll pay me. He was keen to come knowing that he had an excellent chance to finish inside the top four. At the moment, Chelsea sits six points behind Leicester in seventh place in the Premier League. But with our form beginning to pick up under Tuchel, four points from the last six, with Tottenham coming up on Thursday, it's an opportunity for Chelsea to get on a little bit of a run here. And the way the Premier League season is going at the moment, with no one really, apart from Man City, showing consistent form, anything can happen. So if Thomas Tuchel finishes inside the Champions League places, you'll be guaranteed an extended contract. Now to one of the hottest properties in Europe, and it's a 22-year-old RB Leipzig centre-back, Deo Upamecano. And it's been confirmed by Karl Heitz Rummenigge, the Bayern Munich CEO, that Chelsea and Liverpool have registered their interest. And along with Bayern Munich, Upamecano has got a decision to make at the end of the season. He's currently got a clause in his contract that if there's a bid of 38 million then it will have to be accepted despite the fact that his market value at the moment is being reported as 54 million we all knew that chelsea were interested there have been reports numerous times carl heights rummeniger was quoted in the media and referring to the fact that they're going to lose david alaba at the end of the season they see up meccano as a perfect replacement and he said in addition to Bayern Munich, there's at least two quite attractive clubs interested. The player will know what he wants at some point. We have a good relationship with RB Leipzig as well. I have had a conversation with Oliver Mintzlaff. When things become concrete, we'll talk again. The fact that Chelsea and Liverpool are also interested in him proves that he's got very good qualities. He can replace David Alaba. It makes you think, when you get to the end of the season, if we've qualified Champions League, even if we haven't, Thomas Tuchel will still be here for another season. I wonder what he's going to do with the centre-back situation. If Thiago Silva's going to stay an extra year, reportedly in negotiations for a new contract. What's going to happen to Tony Rudiger, Christensen, Kurt Zuma, and what happens to Fakao Tomori, with reports that Milan are hesitant to pay the £26.5 to sign him at the end of the season. Finally, to Emma Hayes, the Chelsea ladies' manager, and it's worth noting here, the Chelsea ladies are currently on a 33-game unbeaten run in the Women's Super League, and it's an outstanding achievement. They are absolutely flying at the moment. Emma Hayes is now being linked with a job in the men's game as manager of AFC Wimbledon and would become the first female manager in senior men's football. She's up against the likes of Ian Holloway, Sol Campbell and Joey Barton, but Emma Hayes is making waves along with the ladies who have been doing fantastically well. Props to the Chelsea ladies, by the way. 33 match unbeaten record, including thumping Tottenham 4 0 at the weekend. I wonder if it's only rumour and speculation. Could Emma Hayes create history? We have to wait and see. That's it from me, guys. Five minute news video for you this morning. If you like the video, drop a like on the video for me, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss when my videos come out. Stay tuned for a video later on this evening around 7 pm. Let me know what you think about anything discussed in the video in the comments section. Have a cracking Tuesday. See you later.